Today is just a rare meteorological phenomenon because here in Illinois, today's like February and you just don't get days like this in February in Illinois. In fact, look at my, look at the wind. It's rare for it not to be windy And the wind isn't even blowing. Okay, so what I want to show you today is that studies have indicated that scoring the inside of the hive can cause the bees to put more propolis on the inside walls, which is sort of like the bee's immune system and can make the bees much more healthier. And if you notice, most hives are made out of pine and it's real smooth on the inside. Now, occasionally you'll find a rough spot, uh, like I show you right here, where there's a knot and bees will put more propolis, the sticky substance that they gather, they'll put more propolis on the knots or like where there's a, maybe a, an imperfection in the wood, like a little crease here. Of a, they'll put more propolis there. So, a lot of the researchers now are recommending that people that make beehives score the inside of their colonies to promote healthier bees. Well, obviously that's impossible. <laughs> it takes uh, way too much time even to make hives to keep up with the uh, demand of beekeeping today. Uh, it takes way too much time to actually score each box in the beehive. There are three boxes in a complete hive, two deeps and a super. And we do this on special orders because some people want that and we do it. So we have, um, I have a special tool. Uh, it's kind of a proprietary invention that I really can't reveal. So I'll keep it covered up in my hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can be creative in, in your shop if you want to do this yourself. And anything that you can use to rough up the surface uh, will prompt the bees to want to smooth it out with propolis much like you would see in a regular tree and that's what bees do in trees. So let me show you uh, what I do uh, for those special orders. I'm right now you can see it's pretty, it's pretty smooth but I'll show you how I, I'm just going to rough it up. Whew, that's a lot of work and we actually only did one side of the four sides of the hive. So as you can tell, oh boy, that takes a lot of work. Took my breath away. It just takes a lot of work to create that in a hive. Oh, and by the way, you have to wear these. If you don't wear these, that screeching noise of fingernails down a chalkboard. <laughs> will drive you crazy, but it's a lot of work to do this. Uh, it took my breath away, it's so much motion. I, I, it's an abdominal workout. I should sell this as some sort of a new uh, fitness exercise routine that people can do. Whew, but this is just one side. You have to do this, have to do that, have to do that. You have to do, you have to do 12 sides. That's why it's a special hive that we make, uh, that we, it's a custom deal. And then uh, it's a lot of work, but again, there's, there's simply a lot of ways that you can do that. You guys that are in your shops have already probably thought up some ideas uh, that you can do to make that roughed up so the bees can fill it with propolis and smooth it out. And then that propolis becomes part of the bees' immune system, antiviral, antibacterial, just like they do in their natural habitat, the tree. Oh, here's some things that we have in our store that people can look at. We use these in our classes. But this is a tree that I had to remove some bees from once. 
and as you can see, a little hard to tell, but it says inside tree coated with propolis. And especially right here, you can see a big blob of it. But actually, all of this is, is propolis. And this is what bees do to the inside of their natural habitat, a tree. They put propolis to coat it. Otherwise, it would just deteriorate. It would, get, it would just rot. And this forms a coating around uh, their nest area. And that's what I'm talking about. They do it naturally in a tree, and that's what we need to do more inside of colonies. Now, here's a here's another example here. Look at this branch here, and see the coating of propolis. Look at that. Just a big blob of it here that I kind of worked up in one pile, just so you could see it. It's pretty cool stuff. Well, tonight is a big night. I'm captain of a shooting team. And I've spent all day uh, oh, doing a little bit of bee work, but mostly just thinking about how to win this match tonight. And pretty stiff competition. It's uh, going to be a photo finish. Four shooters against four shooters, and we are neck to neck. So I've been uh, dry firing all day. I've been uh, thinking through... Uh, my grip, my alignment, and, and my pacing. We have to shoot uh, 10 rounds in 15 seconds at the five yard, seven, 10, 15, 25 yards. And so uh, I've been practicing my, with my timer and I've got my uh, timing down pretty good. We've been shooting this league for several weeks now, um, but I think uh, I've been talking to my team. We've got a strategy. It's a lot like a bowling match uh, when you go singles. And uh, some of my guys are up some up against, all of us are up against uh, stiff competition that uh, is just as equal as we are. So tonight we'll just see how it goes. So uh, behind me you can see this is our fireplace that you've seen before. And in front of the fireplace or just above it, we have this mantle. And as you can see, we've collected things from our travels around different places. And so Sherry puts things like a vase and special little decorations and things. But as of recently, our team that was competing for first place unfortunately did not win first place but we did win second place and actually we were only eight points from taking first place so i'm gonna rearrange the mantle a little bit boom <laughs> now that looks better doesn't it this was a trophy that we won uh that my team won right here a few days ago second place champions you take the camera and then tilt it. Look how tall the trophy. Oh, I can't even see the top. There it is. And uh, a while back on another team, a uh, few, few months ago, we won uh, third place. So we've got third place. We've got second place. And we'll see. We'll start the timer and see how long these trophies can um, go unnoticed by Sherry. Now, I will say, though, to speak highly of Sherry, we live in a large farmhouse, and so she's always saying, we've got rooms upstairs that the kids used to have as their bedrooms. You're welcome to take over one of those rooms with all your trophies and all your guns and all make a man cave out of it. But, you know, I don't want to walk up and down stairs all the time, so Sherry's good. So um, she has always allowed me to decorate the house according to some of my stuff that I like as well as some of the things that she likes so uh, she's good though.